Hi everybody, it's Jeff. Uh, just doing a quick uh, update on uh, Monday Night's Business Builders webinar. Uh, I've had trouble recording it, so I'm just going to go quickly through one of the sections that people were interested in. And uh, firstly, I'd just like to welcome all the new team members and the people that you've sponsored. Obviously, they're part of the team. And in, in the end, we're all part of the big V for MK business. So things are really growing fast now. So uh, welcome to everyone. And what we're just going to go through now is how it's always tough in the beginning. Um, building your own business, and that's what V for MK is. If you've started, then it's your own business. And you really need to get stuck in now and start building right from the beginning because what you do now in the first few weeks the first few months then really in the next five months of this year you're going to build a bigger and stronger business that's going to be the launch pad for 2019 so you can get a hell of a lot out of this business but you have got to put the work and the effort in and obviously at the moment with just the interim catalogue it may seem like a lot of work at the moment for little rewards but what you've got to look at it's like building a house and at the moment the other thing you've got to look at as well is past records show that with the previous businesses that most people had roughly 5 to 15 percent of their orders were the consumable items and that was out of the full catalogue and at the moment all we've got is an interim catalogue that's only got about 70 products and that's just consumable items so if you multiply what you're getting now up into a full catalogue and that'll be out in august and then there'll be another updated catalogue at the end of the year then those order values are going to increase so really now you've got to get out there to your customers with this inter interim catalogue and let them know that you're back in business. And so really what you're doing now is you're digging the foundations and any builders out there or DIY people know that the hard part of building a house and the expensive part is at the beginning where you've got to dig, dig deep to build the foundations. And that's what you're doing now is getting out to those customers and that's like digging the foundations, letting them know you're there. And once you get out to the customers, you've got to let them know that you're back and start really building those foundations strong. And normally with the foundations, you just fill it with concrete. But if you want to build a bigger business, a bigger building, then it's worth putting other things in those foundations and putting a little bit of extra strength in there and then literally there's no limit to the height of that building so go out there and make those customers aware that you're back give them the service a better service talk to the customers and obviously do the sponsoring as well because the sponsoring that you do now that is going to springboard you into 2019 Obviously, there's no rewards for the sponsoring at the moment, but you need to be out there building the team because there'll be extra bonuses, extra benefits for building the team. And now's the perfect time to do it. If you bring people in, especially when we get that new main catalogue, then the, in, the orders are going to increase dramatically. And when the MLM kicks in later in August, then you'll have added rewards and it's easy at the moment to sponsor so find out what you need to do speak to your sponsor use our resources site our facebook groups all the information and the tools are available for you uh, so we provide the information the only thing we can't do is do it for you and once you've got the foundations in place you build on that and things start coming out of the ground and if anybody's built a house you know there's a lot of time and effort goes in for the first few weeks, the first few months, digging the foundations, putting the footings in, and you see no growth at all. And you're spending a lot of money and time doing that. And then eventually you start coming out of the ground. And that's what you're going to do when you start building that customer base. 
things will start to grow and if you're building a team as well then literally there's no height limit to the size of the building or to your the size of your team and you've often heard it said quite recently that the best way to build the biggest building in town is to actually build it yourself don't try to pull everybody else's down so you focus on your own building focus on your own business and just keep building that customer base building your team looking after the team let's like say in the freedom group we've got all of the uh, information all the tools are available and all you have to do is use them and there's no limit to what you can build and remember this Rome wasn't built in a day but they were laying bricks every hour of every day of every year and that's how you could build a big city a big town a big business be putting something in daily hourly whatever time you've got available fit it in around the hours that you've got and what you've got to look at are you laying your bricks are you doing it daily weekly or just occasionally obviously if you want a big business then you've got to put more time and effort in especially in the beginning to build those foundations when the foundations are in place then your business and your team can actually rock it so go out there do what you need to do if you're not sure what you need to do then just speak to your sponsor we're there to help you every step of the way but we can't help you if you don't contact us so hope that helps and uh, see you all soon okay bye now